My name is Katina Binti Mohamad. I work as a customer relation officer at TransitLink. We actually helping up committed on the journey planner. Uh, we also uh, helping up on the concession related issues. For example, like um, lost concession card or application for a concession card. Mrs. Su actually, um, the daughter actually happened to lose the concession card, so uh, she sounds um, she sounds worried. So I put myself as a parent. Um, so when when our child lost our concession card, we are course worried uh, where to report. So that's the reason I actually. Um, doing extra mile for him, helping him up in uh, the loss processing reports. Although we did not interact with the customer physically, um, but through the phone, um, it's much more challenging because we don't see them physically. Um, that's the reason why as much we can address the customer concern by, by phone call, um, we try to help at our end here. My name is Amran bin Abdul. I am a senior assistant station manager from Jurong East MRT. I know when I saw Mr. Ho was alone at, uh, at the station, after chatting with him, he told me that his wife couldn't accompany him for some reason. As he has some difficulty walking, I gave him a wheelchair not to compromise his safety. I took the bus with him and decided to send him all the way to his destination. I think it's just right to make sure he reaches his destination safely. I think to see someone who needs help and not helping will affect me. To me, the act of kindness goes a long way. We are to make sure our passengers have a smooth ride and get to their destination safely. Sometimes I will try to help wherever I can and it is a self-satisfaction for me. I've been taxi driver for five years. I drove by to their house, so the grandma see me and I see Ajay on a wheelchair. I feel pitiful for him. So the grandma approached me la, and asked me, can a permanent car fetch him now? Then to me, in my heart, I already softened already. <laughs> so I said, okay, no problem. And the transport fee, I don't uh, expect much. And you have to pay me such as I said, no need. Yes, I may be a taxi driver, but I can still help someone who is in need. Jay is a very cheerful boy and he is not a passenger to me. He is like family. I drive service number 106. Day in day out, I drive through the same route and I know quite a bit regarding the route given to me. But what can be confusing for passengers is there is a diversion due to road closure. There was a time when I saw a regular passenger, Mr. Sadiq, taking the bus. I can recall his usual stop, but on that day, there was a diversion due to road closure. To make sure that he gets to the destination safely and on time, I tried to assist him on the diversion. As a bus captain, to me, my job is not only to drive passengers from point to point, but it's also to make sure the passengers get to where they want and have a decent ride in the bus. My name is Idris Bin Buang, Technician SPS Transit Limited. I've been at the SBS Transit for 41 years. There are quite a number of problems that I have faced. I will try to be involved in solving a problem when approached by colleagues or contractors. To me, if one is solved, there will be one less problem in the future. We are the backroom staff of SBS Transit and we do not have to face the passenger. But I consider us as the first line of service Meaning, if we do not execute our jobs, we will lead to customers not being happy.